Over time, metal gets old, rusty and flakes. We've found this old gate, we're going to renew it and hang it up and use it as a nice piece of decorative furniture in our garden. For this job, we're going to need quite a bit of equipment. We're going to need some gloves, face masks, earmuffs, goggles to protect your eyes, sandpaper, some wire brushes, drop cloth, paint, cleaner, solvent, but it's going to look fantastic when we're finished with it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down our drop sheet, get our mask and safety gear on, wire brush and start scraping off all the old paint and sanding back the rust. Another way to get paint off is uh, using a cordless drill and a wire brush attachment. This works a lot quicker, a lot faster and strips off the flaky paint. Third and final way to get rust and flaky paint off your metal is with sandpaper and good old elbow grease. So let's get to it. Now that we've taken all the flaky paint off, it's time to put our top coat on. For wrought iron and steel in severe conditions, you can use a primer. For aluminium and brass, use an SLH primer. For this gate, we have two options. We have a paintable epoxy primer or a spray. I'm going to show you how to do both. If you're going to use a spray can, you've got to make sure you shake it well for about two minutes. When spraying, do light, even coats and slowly build them up one by one. And don't do it on a windy day. Using this epoxy paint, make sure you give it a good stir with a flat paddle. We're going to transfer this into another container so we keep our lip clean so the paint will seal again. I'm not going to wear a mask because I'm in a well ventilated area. Couple of tips, don't forget to leave the drop sheet down, it can get messy. Don't put too much paint on your brush, you don't want any runs or drips. And this is going to require two coats, so refer to your manufacturer's instructions about the amount of drying time in between the first and the second coat. And this will look good when we hang it back up. Now we've let our first coat dry according to the manufacturer's instructions. We're going to apply our second coat, allow that to dry, and then our gate will be finished. And that's how you paint metal. Oh,